What is time? A deceptively simple question, yet it is the key to understanding relativity. It is also the reason my hair is going gray. <laughs> you know, if I was a network and I was thinking of doing my very first scripted series, you guys are exactly who I'd want to do it. Oh, Thanks. Very kind. Yeah. Good. Yeah, National Geographic is very lucky to have you two. Thank you. Well, we loved working with National Geographic, actually. We'd, experience, we'd done Mars with them, which worked out, turned out to be a good experience. And we both like working with Courtney Monroe at National Geographic, and we, we like working with these guys. That's nice. And They're cool, curious people. And, and you know, National Geographic, as the, as, the, as the platform, as the brand, to, to unfold this story about genius, and particularly Albert Einstein, which is what this series is about, is perfect because they stand for something. They stand for you know, that, that sort of comprehensive storytelling, that education that is also really compelling and entertaining. And so you know, it gave us license to, to, to really delve into it in as creative, exciting, entertaining a way as possible, but you know, authenticity first and foremost. To truly grasp the idea of time, we must take a step back and ask, what is light? So journey with me. To the sun. So the story of Einstein, I feel like a lot of us know. What surprising things are we going to find in this series? Well, there are so many surprises. Yeah, and that's sexually what... excitable. Very, yes, yes. I say it jokingly, but that was a big part of his makeup, actually. That, yeah. That uh, uh, he was reputed to be and really was, you know, pretty active guy, you know, and, it, and sort of modern in his own ways, you know. Well, he had um, a very bohemian sensibility, which as a young guy, you know, uh, prompted me as a director to kind of stage it in, more like it's, it's about a, a, a kind of cool poet or writer or musician or something, you know, like an artist, which is, I think, really the way he thought. There's also a lot of suspense around his story. If you begin to understand, which I didn't know, but, you know, prior to working on this, the barriers to his achievements. Some of them were self-inflicted because he was this kind of complicated, individualistic guy, but most of them came from the outside. Pressure because, uh, political pressure because of his religion. He was Jewish in, during the rise of Nazi Germany. Then, even later in his life, Israel wanted him to be their first prime minister. He wasn't a political animal at all. And he was thrust into these situations that each one presented a real challenge and sometimes physical danger and he came so close a number of times to not being able to make the contributions that he ultimately made. Casting Jeffrey Rush, mm. I mean, was that just a no-brainer? He certainly qualifies. He's won an Oscar, he's done Oscar-nominated work, and he's thought to be and is a very intelligent actor. You know, a badge of honor for him is that he's, that he's first and foremost a character actor, and he felt like this was a tremendous opportunity, and before he even accepted the role, he had uh, somebody digitized his image and sort of worked on what it might be like with, you know, once he had the makeup on and, 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 and grew his hair and so forth. And uh, you know, he had to be convinced that he could inhabit that man before he would say yes. Well, we're excited to see it. It looks great from what we've seen and it, it looks, um, not to use the, the word genius, but it looks brilliant and beautiful. Thank you. Great. Thank you. you. Thanks like for it. having yeah. me. The past, present, and future is but an illusion.